Good day. Welcome to King William was everything. Today I was going to show you one of my um, obsessions. Uh, it's actually LED lights, and for some strange reason, I have focused on LED, LEDs for a long, long time. And so I kind of thought I might show just a couple off. I have kind of like a little history here of LED. Um, they used to be like so expensive, but now you look at them, you know, they're they're still kind of pricey. But uh, they're catching up with the, the CFLs. And uh, the problem I always had with the CFLs is that <clears throat> uh, if you put them in any kind of enclosure, uh, they're going to fail rather quickly. Just heat destroys them. Uh, electronics, they just can't take it. Uh, just Most of them just fail. You put them in any kind of enclosed environment, that's going to destroy its life, if not kill it pretty quickly. I don't know how many times you, you go through. And. You know the it just fails it's like well you know they're supposed to last 2,000 hours but you know how many of these last 2,000 hours not a whole lot uh, you can see this one he's already discolored but that doesn't hurt it it's just that you know there's this sucker's getting a lot of heat from its uh, little the electronics inside it and they just fail so fast so LEDs you know they came out sounds like a great idea and you look like a guy like this this is kind of like an early one you can see what they did they just took some plain old LEDs, jammed them on a circuit board, and they tried to epoxy it so you don't get killed. Uh, really simple, um, but the problem with these guys is the light output. Just terrible. So you can kind of see, this is basically useless. Uh, you can put it in maybe a hallway, you're still not going to get much light out of it. It's just, uh, the LEDs, they just, they weren't that good yet. It might be good for like a little piece of electronics equipment to show that something's powered on, but for the most part, <clears throat> rather useless. So I kind of like when the, the Chinese started coming out with some better stuff, and, and fairly inexpensive stuff. But as you know, <clears throat> Chinese, probably not the best quality. But something like this, you know, you could get this for $5 when in, in the United States, you just could not find an LED light. And uh, But this has the same problem as this earlier one. Uh, Blue, blue, blue LEDs, that's just the way they were. And the loud output, while well, a little bit better, uh, not much better. They did try making these, and you see a lot of the older ones, they had this green ring, yellow ring, whatever ring, with some uh, uh, slots in it. And a little better. Um, still, you know, this one's quite directional. Uh, a little bit better than the other guys. So this would be good, you know, just for. Uh, like a spotlight because <clears throat> it didn't generate much heat but also didn't generate a whole lot of electricity and this one was fairly safe you know everything was kind of covered up so it was kind of nice that they're starting to make them a little better um, <clears throat> the current ones I'm really enjoying are uh, I like these guys they're safe uh, output light uh, you know maybe 300 lumen but they work. They're not great, but they work. But uh, like I said, they do seem like they last a long time. And they're good for like a living room or like a little lamp. Uh, this guy here is another earlier, um, just a little E14 to E12 adapter on this guy. So, because that's what this was and needed a different adapter. But you can see where the issue is with this guy. Uh, everything's exposed. So, you know, you go in and you grab this guy to twirl it off while it's lit, and you're probably not going to be very happy. If you don't get shocked, you're lucky. Uh, <clears throat> you see a lot of the, the corn cob ones, kind of like this, but uh, the newer versions, they had like long, and I don't have any here, but I have them uh, Everything was exposed. They're very nice, the, especially the newer ones, the, the you know, 5,000 Kelvin, 6,000 Kelvin. And I really like them. I use them in outdoor uh, applications, kind of like, um, <clears throat> like a garage light or an outside house light and <clears throat> they work really well and they're really neat bright light and they kind of have a strange look because you can see every LED but uh, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting look but they do work really well uh, some of the newer ones um, they actually put like a little cover over them and you'll get these from China and you don't see a ton of these in the US they're, they're out there but you know it is crude you know they all they did is they took exposed circuit board kind of like this fellow 
and put a nice little plastic housing over. So if you do grab it, you know, you don't get killed. You don't want to be killed. Especially like a little kid sees that. Even I see something like this. First thing I want to do, I want to grab that bad boy and take it out. And you don't think, it's like, oh, it's just a light bulb. Yeah, well, there's electronics in there, exposed uh, solder joints. Quite nasty. Um, <clears throat> this guy here, this is a nice floodlight, really well made. And this is something you would buy like at a hardware store. So these are probably, you know, 15, 20 bucks. So this is where you're getting your quality. You get big heat sinks. And this guy will probably last a while. And it is very bright. It gets hot. But that's part of the reason why they have all these heat sinks on it. Uh, same way with this guy. I like to see heat sinks, especially if they're really connected to something. You'll see some of these. <clears throat> they have plastic heat sinks, which is more for show than anything. So this is actually metal. It has a nice house, nice little... Uh, I think it's a plastic -y. It might be glass, but it's probably plastic. And this guy, I've had this for a long time, and it's lasted a long time. But you're paying for it. And same way with like this guy. This guy, you don't see a lot of these. They're starting to get popular and look kind of like little floodlights or little shop lights. This is a smaller one. But <clears throat> same way with this guy. They really don't have this guy down to where it's going to replace uh, like a halogen bulb. Uh, this guy, I think is like, I don't know if it says, I thought it was like 1000 lumen, so not fantastic, but not terrible. You know, you're going to go from something, say like a 200 watt or 100 watt uh, halogen to something that's, you know, 10 watts. So that's, you know, that's what you're going to get. But anyway, that's just kind of a, a brief show and tell of some of my LED obsession. Hope you enjoyed.